not gonna puff up my own chest and say that it is so easy it is not pleasure of the flesh will have us out here tripping god has shown me girl this is absolutely not what you're supposed to be doing but guess what <laughs> Somehow I've tricked myself into seeing other signs and saying, no, I'm supposed to do this. Be careful who you listen to. There are so many false prophets who will lead you astray. Measure them by their heart. Measure them by the things that they do. And be able to differentiate between what is fact and what is opinion. Because a lot of people here have so many opinions. I've been all over the world. Yeah. I've seen the finest wine. And I've seen the finest times. But all the pretty girls never be a Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl B, and I'm back with another video. Hey y'all, hey. Um, firstly, if this is your first time here clicking on one of my videos, thank you for taking the time to click on one of my videos. I ask that you go ahead and subscribe and join the gang. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I appreciate y'all because y'all are locked in and I love that for us. And then lastly, if you're a person who watches my videos and have yet to subscribe, what are you waiting for? Like, you obviously already love it here, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you. <laughs> Today's video, we're gonna jump right into it. So normally what I tend to do on these videos, I pick a book and I pick a chapter out of that book and then even break it down further to a verse within that chapter. Um, but today I just feel like speaking overall about Jeremiah and how history truly repeats itself and how, <sighs> God been calling me out lately like it's it's horrendous so the book of Jeremiah um, basically talks about how the prophet Jeremiah tried to um, tell Israel that they needed to change their ways they need to give up their sinful ways um, you know worshiping other gods turning from sinful activities um, stealing cheating not treating widows and foreign as well not treating um, their elders properly um, and just not following the way God had intended for us to live and it talks about how during this time Israel was very full of themselves they had so much pride so they wasn't going to turn from their sinful ways they were continuously going to worship other gods and sacrifice things to these gods I'm um, gonna do wicked things to the people they cared more about their status more about their possessions more about their um, more about their animals and their farms and their possessions more than they cared about their relationship with God. And Jeremiah tried to warn them on multiple occasions to turn from their evil ways. On top of that, uh, Jeremiah talks about how um, there were so many leaders, um, religious leaders, who were purposefully leading people astray. And when I hear all of that, I think of where we are present day again history always repeats itself nothing is ever brand new and i find that there are so many people who are there are so many people who are more so tied into their possessions what they have their success um their finances um their social status um their social media statuses um all these things they try to live up to this image to uplift themselves and even when you hear things where people are like i am my own god or i have control over my own destiny i choose what i want um a lot of that is demonic like because you think that you can control everything that is happening in your life now i do understand that we have free will as people however i do also believe that we are called to follow standards that were set not by us but by god i feel like there's a lot of things that happen in this world that we cannot control that we have no control over it um and i feel like a lot of times we mislead ourselves because we believe that once we think something we can affirm it and it will happen and the thing is when it comes to christianity is yes you can affirm things will happen but you affirm it through god you believe that god will give you the tools needed to, to acquire these things you want um if you puff your chest up to think that you are creator of your life then that's going to leave you um feeling depleted someday because you're going to realize that you can't things are going to always be out of your control um and you can you can fool yourself and say that i am in control of my own destiny but then where are you going to put your faith when things fall apart you're going to put it in yourself when things are already going bad like 
to me, to me, that doesn't make sense. I believe that there is, um, I believe that Jesus saved us um, and through his death that we have access to the Holy Spirit that leads us to God's ways. We hear that voice that tells us what we're supposed to do and we're supposed to listen to that. We're supposed to follow that. Now, after I said all of that, right? I'm not gonna puff up my own chest and say that it is so easy. It is not. Pleasure of the flesh will have us out here tripping because we like the feel of luxury items, because we like the feel of body to body touch, because we like the feel of eating well and the taste of the different types of food, because we love the images or because we visually love to see certain images of ourselves we kind of shape our lives around these things instead of shaping our lives around Jesus um that is a big problem I always tell you on this channel that I suffer with that so much and one chapter that stood out to me was when the army of Israel came to um, Jeremiah. They asked Jeremiah to talk to the Lord on their behalf to figure out what they should do next. Um, at this time, Babylon was taking over Israel um, and they had killed one of the people that Nebuchadnezzar had put in place to um, rule over Israel. So they had killed that person and now they feared the wrath of the Babylonians. So what they end up doing is going to Jeremiah to ask him what should we do. They made this promise that Jeremiah, if you speak to the Lord on our behalf, we promise that what he tells us we will do or death will be unto us. Like we promise to follow his ways. We won't go against anything that the Lord says for us to do. The choices that they were trying to figure out was whether they were to stay in Israel and just be ruled by Babylonians or if they should run to Egypt so that they can, you know, run away from the Babylonians rule. So after 10 days, Jeremiah heard from the Lord and the Lord told him to tell the army that they should stay in Israel. If they were to stay in Israel, things would work out in their favor. However, if they went to Egypt, great destruction would fall upon them. So remember I said that they said that whatever the Lord um, instructed for them to do, they would do. That was a lie. Because in their mind, they had already made that choice that they would go to Egypt, they were like, we don't care what you have to say, you're saying the wrong thing. If we stay here in Israel, they will surely kill us. So we're gonna go to Egypt. So once they went to Egypt, they experienced so much hardship. The people who remained in Israel had it better off because they followed the Lord's instructions. Yes, the Babylonians will rule over them for a few times, but they would still be able to, to have their fields and, and have their wines and cultivate um, things that allow them to sustain themselves. Those who went to Egypt had nothing. They experienced famine, they experienced um, death, they experienced so many things by just not listening to the Lord. And I say that to say that, me as a person, I, <laughs> I'm gonna be kind to myself and say 85% of the time, I know what it is that I wanna do. So when I approach God and I'm like, God, if this is a sign, let it be known that I'm supposed to do this. And I'm constantly looking for a way for him to show me that this is what I'm supposed to do. And there has been plenty of times God has shown me, girl, this is absolutely not what you're supposed to be doing. But guess what? <laughs> Somehow I've tricked myself into seeing other signs and saying, no, I'm supposed to do this. Or I'll ask him again and I'll ask him over and over and over again once he already revealed what it is I was supposed to be doing. So for me, I resonated with that story so much and I resonated with that story at a space center. I know that I do that way too often and that is something that I need to work on. I need to get out of thinking I have controls over my weight and just think that God is just going to follow suit and bless me in the areas that I said I want him to lead me instead of really sitting in silence and seeing where he's going to lead me. Sometimes where God would lead you is not where you were expecting yourself to be. Like I said, Israel was going to be taken over by the Babylonians. They were going to be ruled by Nebuchadnezzar. They were going to have to pay him taxes, wages, and all these other things. However, God told those people, if you remain in this land and give yourself up to these Babylonians, then you will reap my reward. This will only be a temporary situation. And sometimes we get so uncomfortable in places that are not where we desire to be that we don't know how to wait in those situations for God to present us with something so much better. A couple videos back, I showed you the whole situations with the Babylonians and the king and how 
um god said because you have shown the babylonians all these things that you will that they will come and take all that you got built up right so we knew that was going to happen but even in israel knowing this they continue to do horrible things in the lord's eyes we are the cause of our own downfall every action has a reaction and not every reaction is going to be good and because you don't turn from the things that you know you're not supposed to be doing because it becomes culturally acceptable um doesn't make it normal doesn't make it good doesn't mean that god is going to absolve you because everyone else is doing it no you have to stand firm and be your own person and i think that's a big part of, of why god spoke to jeremiah that's why god allowed jeremiah to approach him when it came to all of israel and remember god kept giving him chance after chance after chance telling them to turn from their sinful ways and just listen to him and every single time they chose not to even when they promised that they would and again I know all of us do that we promise that we're gonna stop talking to certain people we promise that we're gonna stop drinking we promise that we're gonna stop spending money frivolously we promise that we're gonna start giving to people or giving back to the community more often we promise that um, we're gonna start eating healthy we promise that we're not gonna lie or, or cheat people or steal or do all these things we promise ourselves that we're always gonna do it and then at the same breath we tell ourselves one more time I just need to do it one more time because things are not going right for me. And it's like, yeah, you keep doing it. Like, you're going to fall victim to God's wrath. And then what are you going to do? And then when you have no other choice, when he is telling you to turn from your ways and you don't, you're making those promises to him, but then you don't, that is a big issue. Once you tell God that you promise to do something, you are bound to that promise. If you don't make a promise, doesn't mean that you shouldn't strive to do it but it's like you're 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 swearing by god to to complete something and you purposely know you're not going to do it so it's like why would you do that so this was hopefully a short video the key takeaways that i want you to take away from today's video is the fact that you are not your own god there is a god a god who sent his son to be sacrificed for our sins and all he wants for us is to follow his rules is, is to, to accept him as our lord and savior and live a life that is pleasing unto him that is what he wants for us to do the second point is listen when you know that you hear god speaking to you don't avoid that you know it in your gut you know it in your heart and the trick is to also train your mind to know it because our mind is very deceitful so pay attention to your heart and let your mind follow your heart and not your heart follow your mind because our mind is, is tricky. But they say do not lean on your own understanding because as mere humans, we are a little dense. So yeah. The third part is to be careful who you listen to. There are so many false prophets who will lead you astray. Don't look for people because they have a following. Don't look for people because they have mega churches. Don't look for people because they have the glitz and the glam. Measure them by their heart. Measure them by the things that they do. Measure them by the way that they act in relation to how God tells us to act. Read your Bible. Do not lean on someone else's understanding. Get into that word and then you will be able to see for yourself if the people who are leading you are actually living by the word of God, living by God's truth. And if not, not to say that you have to judge them, that's not what I'm saying, but be very wise in the people that you listen to. Be very wise in the things that you take as fact um, and be able to differentiate between what is fact and what is opinion because a lot of people here have so many opinions, whether it be Instagram, TikTok, um, Facebook, Twitter, or Thread, whatever you want to call it. They have so many opinions and it should all come back to the biblical word and what it says. If you can't pinpoint it in the Bible, then what they're saying is nearly not God's truth. Change your actions today because as much as you're saying, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, we're not promised tomorrow. And that is something that we have to live with. If God forbid today was to be your last day, do you think God would accept you into heaven based on how you acted today? And allow that to kind of 
help you navigate how you behave on a day-to-day -day basis because that's literally how it goes we cannot plan out where we go so all we can do is look back to that last day and be like i was a child of god actively seeking to live right in god's kingdom so that's what i will say but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you made it to the end and you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button i promise you'll love it here i'll also leave the link to jeremiah um down in my description box because like i said this one was more so an overall discussion about jeremiah but yeah that's it thank you guys for watching the video and i'll catch you in the next one in my head, then it's PG around my way, so I've never had to stay away.